Welcome back. I'm now joined by Chelsea Stacy with Mesa County Public Health. Thanks so much for coming on the show today. Thanks for having me. Absolutely. So you're here to talk about West Nile virus, which is a pretty big issue right now here in Mesa County. Um, can you tell us a little bit about West Nile, just for those of us who don't know much about it? Sure. Uh, West Nile virus has been in the U.S. since the late 90s. It's been in Mesa County since the early 2000s. Uh, we just saw our first case in the county this year. Wow. Um, and it's transmitted by mosquitoes, uh, specifically the Culex mosquito. Not every type of mosquito can carry it. Okay. And then it's only transmitted when a mosquito infected with the virus will bite you. Okay, that's good to know. Um, so Mesa County Public Health is actually partnered with a local agency that monitors these mosquitoes in our area, right? Can you tell me a little bit about that? Yeah, the Grand River Mosquito Control District, uh, they help to monitor and control mosquito populations in our area, uh, specifically the Culex mosquito that causes West Nile virus. Okay, and um, how can people stay safe? What, what preventative measures can they do to, to not get West Nile? Yeah, uh, the best way to stay safe is to wear insect repellent. Mm. Uh, try not to be outdoors around dusk or dawn, that's when mosquitoes are most active. And then probably the best way to uh, avoid getting West Nile virus is to drain standing water in your, in your area, on your property. Um, things like old tires, uh, plastic pools, even recycling bins or trash cans can hold small amounts of water and uh, these mosquitoes like to lay their eggs on that kind of water. Oh no, okay, good to know. <laughs> and then what about symptoms? If someone thinks maybe they've caught West Nile virus, what, how would they be feeling? Right, so only one in five people that actually has West Nile virus will get symptoms. Okay. Um, but the symptoms are usually fever, uh, muscle aches, joint pain, uh, sometimes you'll have nausea, vomiting, mm. sometimes a rash. Okay, and how long do those symptoms typically last? They can last anywhere from a few weeks to a few months. And there is no treatment for the actual virus. You kind of just control the symptoms and hope that it goes away. Okay, and no, if no one had, if someone had West Nile but didn't have symptoms and wasn't aware, then they just, they don't really need to do anything, right? No, like I said before, you can't really transmit it person to person. Um, you would never really know. You wouldn't have symptoms, anything like that. Great. All right. Well, thank you so much for coming on the show today. Thanks for having me. Absolutely. And we'll have all that information on our web channel as well, westernslopenow.com.